Hi guys, super excited about this one. I'm doing this one in collaboration with Archer and Olive. I'm doing a blog post today and I'm focusing in on making an advent calendar in your planner or in your bullet journal. So I've created two ways here that you can do it in your bullet journal or you can easily, easily swap that over into your planner as well. So we're gonna go through two techniques. We're going to make some little envelopes and stick them in. Or you can actually make an advent calendar between two pages of your bullet journal. What I love about the Archer and Olive is that the paper is so thick it's like cardboard, which is perfect for an advent calendar. Now, I wanted the advent calendar to be kind of self-reflective and a lot more for self-care than 24 days of gifts. So you can download the free printable. The free printable contains 24 self-care prompts and some gratitude questions and just some things that maybe can spark some extra creativity or some additional journaling. So let's get started. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell so that you know when there's more of my craziness on your screen. Um, looking forward to this one and I think it's going to be a good one and let me know how it goes if you tag us on the art of Bujo or hashtag the art of Bujo then I see the recreations and I can share them so yay let's get started okay getting started we're going to measure out our boxes for our advent calendar only cut out the one side of the box. You'll see I only cut the one side out throughout the entire thing. I make sure that it hasn't cut through all the way to the other side. And then I'm gonna add some colorful um, splatters to my advent calendar. What I'm going to do now is score the sides and whoops, whoops, Bob's your uncle. There's your advent calendar. Now what's great about this advent calendar is that it is so simple to make and really effective. I've used um, gratitude quotes in the uh, in my journal and every time I open it up it's going to remind me to try something different with regards to gratitude. Now you can download the free printable. There's a free printable available um, that I've done in collaboration with Archer and Olive. The next advent calendar we're going to make, we're going to use some colorful um, paper and we're going to cut it to a five by five inch square. And once I've cut it into a five by five inch square, I'm going to cut them into little envelopes. Now what's great about this uh, We Are Memory Keepers all-in-one tool is the fact that it tells you exactly how big you need to cut your piece of paper and then also where you need to uh, score it to make a perfect little envelope, which is brilliant and so effective. It also then has a little punch on the side for you to be able to punch out the corners of your envelope. So let's start by scoring my envelope in the correct places that it tells me to. With my five inch paper, it tells me that two and a half inches is where I need to score the paper. So I put it on the score line and I go right through the score. Here's a little close up of how I am doing it. It's just great with the little score lines on the board already. Now that we're here, we're now going to punch out our little envelope sides and you can see it's the perfect envelope side. Thank you, We Are Memory Keepers, for coming up with such an ingenious tool. Now fold it to make sure that it fits really well. And once you've folded it, it makes the perfect little envelope and you can pop something inside. So what are we going to pop inside? Well, nothing yet. First, we need to foil the flap of the envelope to be able to see that it is 24 days to Christmas. So I'm folding up all the envelopes I've cut. I've cut a little extra for Christmas cards and for a couple of extra hidden spots in my bullet journal. Another brilliant tool from We Are Memory Keepers is the handheld pen foil um, pen. It's brilliant because what I need to do is I just need to make sure that I have enough space on the corner of my little envelope to be able to foil in on essentially whatever I want. I could draw a foiled image just waiting for it to heat up. It takes about five minutes to heat up and then you can get foiling. Now I always do a quick test run just to make sure that my foil quill is 
hot enough. If it's not hot enough, the heat activated foil doesn't stick to the paper. It looks hot enough to me. Let's get started. We've got day 24 and counting backwards all the way to one. I love how simple this tool is to use and it's so cute. Look how foily it is. It's so sparkly. Here's a close up to see how I'm doing it. It's just that easy. Put a little bit of foil over and draw over with your pen. Now that we've finished with all of our envelopes, I'm going to put them aside and I'm going to cut up some little pieces of paper to put my affirmation and gratitude journal prompts in my advent calendar. And I'm going to put in things like take a bath, to have a cup of tea with friends, um, lie in the sun during lunch. There's going to be a ton of these that I'm going to put together and I'm going to pop them into each one of the little envelopes. But so that I surprise myself every day, I'm going to turn them upside down and shuffle them around a little bit so that I don't know which one is going in which day, which kind of makes it a little bit different, right? Now remember, if you want to be featured on The Art of Bujo, remember to tag us or use our hashtag. Now that we've stuck in our little envelopes and I've put in my little affirmation, I'm sealing them shut and they're ready to go. Now the last use for these super cute wee little envelopes is this time I'm going to add a little punch hole on the corner and I'm going to pretty much make them a little bit of bunting and you can put this above your desk you can put this in your kitchen you can put it pretty much anywhere that you think is a good spot to collect your little daily affirmations even on the fridge might work so I'm just punching a little hole in the corner and I'm going to put it on some string and you can either hang it up with pegs or you can use the little hole As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.